Hello, sports fans and baseball fans, and I guess if you're watching this video, maybe to some degree you care about the White Sox. Maybe you're just a White Sox fan. So the question today, and you can tell by the title of the video, is are the White Sox in trouble? No one in their right mind would bet against the Chicago White Sox. And my general answer to that is no, not yet. I mean, the White Sox are hanging right around 500. They, um, they've they been playing pretty good baseball lately. Um, and they have had a lot of injuries. Now, I know, I know, I know a lot of teams are going to say, or a lot of fans of a lot of teams are going to say, hey, we've had injuries too. But the fact of the matter is that the Chicago White Sox, have led the AL Central in man games lost to injury. They have, in fact, had 14 players on the IL for a total of 490 man games lost. And that, as I said, leads the AL Central. Now, I guess if you look uh, baseball-wide, that, that's really not that bad. I mean, consider that the um, Houston Astros have lost 777 man games to injury. The New York Mets have lost uh, 800, is it 800, 846 man games to injury. Uh, the Chicago Cubs have lost 675 man games to injury. And the San Francisco Giants have lost 916 man games to injury. So, the White Sox, uh, baseball-wide, they are um, actually doing relatively well in the injury department. But, as uh, far as the AL Central goes, no, not so well. Because we need the AL Central. So... Um, that is going to be an issue when you're talking about teams like uh, the Guardians playing over and above uh, what at least I expect of them to do. And Ramirez plays every single day for them. Uh, then you got the Twins who, you know, they went out and they got Korea, so they've got Korea at shortstop, and they, I think, got Sonny Gray in the offseason. So they made some upgrades, so yeah. I mean, but I think it's still going to be a three-team race between the Twins, the White Sox, and the Guardians. And at, you know, we're just approaching the halfway point of the season. So I don't think that there's a reason to be alarmed just yet. But the injuries, you know, they've got to slow down and stop. Not only that, but players who are, you know, underperforming what we're used to, particularly uh, people like Moncada and um, uh, the catcher there. Uh, uh, yes, Monty Grandal. I mean, there's, there's guys that are just seriously underperforming and they've got to pick it up uh, when they play. So, um, and we've got, we still have, you know, Jimenez is down um, in Charlotte on a rehab assignment right now. Tim Anderson just got back off the IL, had guys on the bereavement list. So, you know, I don't think we're in trouble just yet, but things have got to turn around. Players have got to play better, more to their ability when they do play. And... Um, and we've got to avoid the injuries better than we have uh, because we've got the most man games lost to injury in the AL Center. So I don't think we're in trouble now, but you know, what do you guys out there think? You think the White Sox are done? You think that's it? 
we're done, it's over? Or do you think, hey, there's still a lot of time, as, as I do, there's still a lot of time and we can turn it around. Um, well, you know, things have to change, but they have to change within acceptable parameters that we could expect to to change. Cut down on the injuries, players play up to their ability, so uh, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing.